EOS 7D. Why is it so revolutionary? This camera, the EOS 7D, has been totally redesigned from the ground. From the metering system, the focusing system, the viewfinder. Viewfinder is called a transmissive display, which means yeah. it's interactive. You can oh, yeah. see uh, what's going on in the viewfinder and change it as you see fit. There's also, just we'll kind of touch on it, but there's also a, um, a dual access level built into the, view, the viewfinder and the screen in the back here. So if you're tilting the camera forward or side, you can tell whether it's going to be level or not. And you can do that while you're shooting or uh, if the camera's, you know, if you want to put it on a tripod, in fact, I could show it to you right now if you want to see it. It's I, I, pretty cool. I'd love to. So let's turn the camera on first and okay. then just hit the info button here twice. Oh, look at that. And I'll Good. flip this around here so you guys can see this. But as I turn the camera, you'll be able to see the level changing. Now, this is the roll, and it also will do pitch forward and backward, and things will change. Now, when everything turns green, you are level. Boom, see that? So this is really great feature for architectural photographers, uh, landscape photographers, or anyone who just wants to be on a level. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So No pun uh, intended. Exactly, but it's a, it's a really uh, a cool feature for Canon with this camera. Uh, you can change any of the focusing points. You can highlight clusters of focusing points. Uh, you can have a, uh, a spot meter appear in the middle of the frame. Um, those types of things are very much professional features that are on an advanced amateur camera. Okay, an advanced amateur camera. That's really where we're placing this camera. What's the ISO on this camera? Well, I'm glad you asked. Anywhere from 100 all the way up to 12,800, which is really cool. Now, the, the camera is 12,800. 12, now, that's an expansion. Okay. Okay. okay, and what's an expansion? Well, the camera has a native ISO from 100 to 3200. What that means is that the camera is designed to shoot within those ranges of that 100 to 3200. Okay. Now, there are two expansions. You have 6400 ISO and 12800. Okay. Now, that's in, in video terminology, they would call that gain. Uh, it's not a true ISO, but it, it gives you the effect of a more sensitive uh, sensor. I was just going to talk about the flash, actually. Okay. All well, right. I'm glad. It not only illuminates your subjects up to about 15 or 20 feet, which is normal for a built-in flash, but okay. what this flash does that no other flash really does in our system is it can trigger our other Canon Speedlight flashes for wireless control. Never would have guessed. You wouldn't have guessed that just I by looking at it. And that's a professional feature that up until right now you would have had to uh, invest in the 580EX2 to put that on the camera or the, another unit called the SCE2 which is just a transmitter. So when that pops up? This takes the place of those two things and it saves the photographer money by having to invest in multiple units. When it's all built into this you can control all the flashes from this one unit right here. I love that about this and I'm so glad Canon finally put that in a system that is affordable to the average person. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's very cool. So, does this camera have a multi-point autofocus? It does. In fact, this the, the Canon 7D has 19 wow. points of focus, where its other counterparts have only nine. And we haven't even talked about HD video yet. Full 1080p video is available with this camera. It's. I think that if I could sum this camera up in one word, it's versatility. Okay. Let's talk resolution first. So it's 18 megapixels. Awesome. That's what most people want to know. Okay. How much resolution does this camera have? How many megapixels? 18 megapixels is what this camera has. Okay. Now the next question they ask is, well, what's the frame rate? Because they want, to, they love hearing that as they're shooting their son or daughter's, you know, sport sporting event. Right. Eight frames per second at this camera. Now, uh, for a camera that's not listed as a professional camera, that's really impressive. And this camera not only has one processor, it has two. So it's running dual processors in this. To have the ability of transferring that much information at a very extremely fast speed is something that's paramount, especially when you're talking about video with um, shooting full HD. And I'm not coming from a video background. I come from a, t from a photography background. Right. Um, but I'm getting into the video, and it's exciting 
that it has all this stuff. And right. it's, it's fun. Well, how, how easy are the menus and the, the sub-menus to use? They're so simple. Okay. I can even do it. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, but as a professional photographer, I would kind of hope you would be able to. Yeah, no, but you no. could do it. I, I mean, but it's me, really, it's, a, you know. it's, it's really simple. When it's you go through it, the, that's one of the things that Canon paid particular attention to when they designed this camera mm -hmm. was making it easy enough so that the menu system could, you could easily scroll so through and, um, and work the menu. So let's just press the menu button right here. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. as we go through, mm -hmm. let's kind of turn this. I don't know if you guys can get a shot of this or not, but, um, very simple. Turn the, you hit the menu, and you can use this rear dial just to scroll right through the menu system. Now you're not going to see. You don't have to keep scrolling and scrolling for more stuff to come up. Okay. Everything you see on the screen is going to be everything that's available available in that menu. Okay. And then we can go over to the next menu, and you're going to see everything that's available. Uh, it just goes on and on throughout the menus. And now there's different color codes in the menus. Everything red has to do with a shooting uh, type situation. Everything in blue is has something to do with playback. Okay. When you get into the uh, the orange, that's all of your tools. Okay, and then you get into um, uh, this other color, this other shade of orange, which is your custom functions, and there's a lot of them okay. um, to tailor the camera to your needs. And um, and then you have this my menu, which is green, which basically you can set the camera up for things uh, like specific do. things like that you like. Things that you use on an everyday basis, right. so you don't have to go searching for them. You could so, use this camera. So this, and, this, you, this, this camera also has an automatic mode. It has an automatic mode. It's, it's there. You could hand this camera to anyone and get perfect results out. You know, every time. Quality pictures. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. I'm Deanna from PhotoAmerica.tv and this is Cliff Hausner. He's a professional photographer in New York City for the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. Look, if I have to take one camera out on location with me and I have to take out one lens, I mean, this, this is a really nice system to take out. Um, so I can shoot sports, I can shoot action with it very quickly, again at 8 frames a second, or I can do just beautiful shots and, and, and not have the worry that I'm not going to be able to blow this up to a bigger size. It, it has an ISO range, which is incredible, an ISO range from uh, 100 to mm -hmm. 12,800. So you can shoot in incredibly low light situations, even if you do not have the, uh, a very, very fast uh, aperture lens. Okay. So that you can still shoot under low light conditions and you can shoot you know, things that are moving under low light conditions, which is, uh, you know, it's almost hard to find. And the quality is actually pretty usable at 12,800. Wow. So uh, to be able to come away in a, a situation where you couldn't get an image before, now you can still get an image even under those low light conditions. Wow. Um, I also like that it, it, it maintains all of the same features that the previous uh, cameras have. Um, for example, the you know quick on off with the lenses. Mm -hmm. So you easy. know you're able to mount, yeah, easy to on off. Um, has the auto stable, has a stabilizer built into it. It's not so easy to put it back on, why? Maybe because I'm drinking. But anyway, <laughs> it, um, easy on off functions. And, um, yes, that Diet Coke is just getting to It me. is, it's way crazy. Um, <laughs> And, and, and still has a full frame, you know, has the uh, frame size that is really more than enough. As a matter of fact, some people might even consider 18 megapixels, which this camera has, to have even too, too big, a, yeah, too big a chip size. I mean, I hear that quite often, like, why do I need more megapixels? <laughs> exactly. and, and there is a point of, you know, diminishing return. Right. But in this particular case, I think the camera, uh, the size, you know, the number of megapixels for the type of camera it is, is pretty amazing. And for the price, there's nothing in its class, nothing in its class.